We had our first encounter with flags when we were setting up our calculator. We clicked on these flags and we saw 128 system flags whose status would reveal to the calculator which way we wanted it to perform. We could check or uncheck those flags. We could set or clear those flags. We can use those flags in our programs. Let's see how. In the manual, we see there are six instructions we can use in the program related to flags. Flags commands. We can set a flag, we can clear a flag, we can test to see if a flag is set, or we can test it to see if it is clear. Let's use those commands. In Appendix C of the Advanced User Manual, we see a list of all the 128 system flags. All of them are labeled with negative numbers. In particular, in this video, we will concentrate on system flag 17, negative 17, the one that tells the calculator whether we are working in radians or in degrees. Actually, the calculator uses two, 17 and 18, to decide whether it's in radians, in degrees, or in grads. If system flag 17 is set, it's working in radians. But if flag 17 is clear, there are two possibilities depending on the state of flag 18. So, let's write a little program that tests the flags to see if it's in degrees, and if it isn't, sets that in radians, I and mean, if it's in radians, it toggles back to degrees. We begin our program by clearing flag 18, like this. Open chevrons, we type negative 18 on the stack, or rather the program will, and issue the command clear flag. Next, we go and test flag 17. It will tell us whether it's set for radiance or reset for degrees. We write 17 on the stack, and then we check if it's set. Is that flag set? The calculator will respond 1 for true or 0 for false to this question and leave that answer on the stack. Let's do that. In this calculator, I write 17 negative. I'm going to request for the state of system flag 17. And now I issue the command, how is flag 17? F S question mark. When I punch the enter key, the calculator will execute the test of flag 17. It's true, the flag was set. And of course, that is the case because the calculator is in radiance mode. That response we will capture in a local variable. I will call that anything. Like x is easy to type. Inside those chevrons, that true or false will be analyzed like this. If x is true, then that means that the calculator was in radiance flag, mm -hmm. and I execute the command degrees, which is a command in the calculator that sets the calculator in degrees mode. Else, execute the commands rad that sets the calculator in radiance mode. And uh, to finish the stack, if, then, else, end. And that is our little program that toggles between degrees and uh, radians. We have an external set of chevrons and an internal set of chevrons in which the local variable x that contains either true as the one or false as a zero is analyzed and utilized. We could also have used instead of the command degrees in here, uh, let me do that, then I could have just decided to clear flag 17 because flag 18 was cleared at the beginning of the program. 17, clear flag. That is equivalent to this degree. And in else, I could have written flag 17, set flag, which is equivalent to radians. Either way, this program toggles between radians and degrees. Let's type it. Now we enter the program. We store that in a variable, rd, 
go to variables and observe what RD does. I click, it toggles to degrees, I click again, it toggles to radians, right? So that is the operation of that toggle switch. Thank you very much.